Have you ever wondered how it is possible to not be jealous of an evil person? Find out how on today's edition of Liberty at Home. Hi, I'm Dan Imondi, and I get to serve as the assistant pastor at Liberty Baptist Church here in Easton. I'd like to share with you a thought from Psalm chapter 37. In Psalm 37, King David is speaking in his old age to his son Solomon, who was in line to follow him as the king of Israel. King David is speaking from a position of authority, not just because he is, in, he is Solomon's father or even the king of the nation, but because he has experienced what he is exhorting his son to do. David instructs his son to fret not because of evildoers. To fret means to become so overwhelmed with jealousy that you either fall into discouragement or you give in to living your life like the person of whom you are jealous. The evildoers can be defined as unbelievers who fight for what they want out of life. This may be someone you know that has cheated their way to the top and they now take advantage of those they have power over. They enjoy a lot of wealth and conveniences that they only have because they ran over others to acquire it. I think we would all agree that it is easier to tell someone, don't become jealous of those kinds of people, than it is to actually apply it. And David knows it's easier said than done. So David tells his son how it can become possible to fret not because of evildoers. Solomon would have victory over any potential jealousy of evildoers by delighting himself in the Lord. So I want us to notice Psalm 37 and verses 1 through 4. This is what David tells Solomon what to do. Verse 1 says, Fret not thyself because of evildoers neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed. Notice specifically verse four. It says, delight thyself also in the Lord and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. I want us to notice the, the progression of this one verse, verse 4. Instead of fretting over evildoers, David told his son to delight himself in the Lord. To delight means to take great pleasure in. In other words, Solomon's ultimate joy was to be discovered, not in the temporary pleasures that the evildoers spend their lives pursuing, but rather in the presence of God. And then the verse says that God would give him the desires of his heart. Desire would be the aggressive feeling of wanting or hoping for something to occur, and this feeling would be stored in the heart, which represents the innermost faculties of one's soul and spirit, the I like to call desire station. David is telling Solomon to pursue the presence of God instead of pursuing selfish pleasures. David is telling Solomon to have a deep and meaningful relationship with God instead of trying to find purpose in things, in status, in vanity. The result of this relationship with the Lord, the old and experienced king says, would be that the desires of Solomon's heart would be fulfilled. They would come to pass. Verse 4 is not saying that God will give Solomon whatever he wants. Rather, the verse is saying that Solomon will desire what God desires as a result of his relationship with God. And these very desires would also become a reality. You see, people all over our world are, are wasting their lives pursuing happiness and sources that cannot produce ultimate satisfaction. In fact, fighting for what you want out of life produces more and more selfishness, and it can lead to a miserable life. 
an empty life. Do not become jealous and do not become like these, ki this, th these kinds of people. You and I were created by God in order to have an amazing relationship with Him. And that is just the reason why only God's presence can ultimately satisfy. Well, the clock is telling me that our time is about to expire for today's episode of Liberty at Home. But before it does, I want to remind you that you're always welcome to join us for services at Liberty Baptist Church. We meet every Sunday and Wednesday at 800 Washington Street, Route 138, right here in Easton. Look us up at mylibertybaptist.org. And I'm Dan Imondi reminding you that where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Catch you next week on Liberty at Home.